Welcome back to this edition of the Pet Project, everyone. I am joined once again with Gabrielle from the Border Paws Animal Shelter. How is everything going over there this week? Really good so far, yep. That's good to hear. And so we have kind of a special guest this week. I know I say that every week, but this one is a little <laughs> bit more special than usual. So I'll let you go ahead and introduce our uh, furry friend for the week. This is Chandler. She is a rabbit that we have here in the shelter right now. She's been here for about a month and she came in with another rabbit and the other rabbit is actually in foster to adopt and she is ready for adoption so she is ready whenever someone is interested in her. Well she certainly does look very cute, very well behaved. Um, I've said it before on the show but I had bunnies growing up, I lived on a farm and they're great pets. They're so, you know, they're so much fun to, uh, you know, play with and, and they're just adorable soft. You got to be a little careful with them because they can be a little skittish, you know, so maybe if uh, you've never owned a rabbit before it's certainly something you want to look into. It's a little different than a dog or a cat but it, it's not, it's not outside of, uh, you know, your skill set out there anyone. So certainly if you're interested interested in picking up Chandler or even just stopping in getting to meet her you know maybe just testing the waters certainly get in touch with the the Border Paws Animal Shelter and you know stop in and say hi. Wonderful so moving on you guys had a big event this last weekend well you were part of a big event which was the carnival at the Lloyd Mall and so you guys had a booth out there and I, I heard it was a lot of fun I didn't have time to stop by but uh, yeah how did everything go did you guys uh, you know get to introduce a lot of people to your pets? Yeah, so we took puppies and we did a little puppy kissing booth. Uh, the kids absolutely loved it and to be honest, so did the adults. <laughs> um, so yeah, we got lots of people interested in puppies and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it certainly looked great. I know a couple people from uh, the station here stopped by and, and got some puppy smooches and made donations. <laughs> so that's always lovely to see, you know. So I'm really glad that everything went well with that and uh, obviously look forward to the next big event. Um, but so this coming weekend, you guys don't have any events, but you do have something kind of special going on, which is you guys are doing a volunteer orientation. So I'm always telling people to get in touch with you guys and to volunteer. And so you guys are actually going to, uh, I guess, do some orientation. So I'll let you just kind of discuss what's going on with that. Yeah, so we have a volunteer orientation this Sunday. It starts at 2 o'clock. We do ask that you just give us a call and let us know if you're coming or not, um, just so that we can plan roughly about how many people are going to come. And so it's for you to be able to come in without fully committing to volunteering. You can come in and learn what you would do with the cats and dogs and that kind of thing. And then we're also looking for volunteers for events and yard work and stuff like that as well. Perfect. So, you know, if you've ever had that thought in the back of your mind, gee, I would really like to volunteer, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what it entails, this is the perfect opportunity for you. Go, tip, go dip your toes in the water, see how it feels, hang out with the pets, you know. I'm sure you're going to love it, and you'll probably want to go back every week to help out. <laughs> um, perfect. So, one last thing to touch on before we leave for the day is, uh, obviously, physical item donations. I always like to bring it up, and uh, there's a couple things you were looking looking for this week so once again I'll just let you let the people know what you're looking for. So we do still need adult dog food we have roughly 10 adult dogs in our care right now so if you are looking for a dog you can come and check them out but we still need some food for them as well as we need some hay um, for our little bunny here if she doesn't get adopted she has been blowing through her hay. <laughs> Yeah, so that's an easy one. If you live on a farm, you know, I'm sure you have some extra hay lying around. I'm, I'm sure the uh, Border Paws Animal Shelter would greatly appreciate it. So would Chandler. So, you know, very easy one to cross off the list. If you got some extra laying around on the farm and you're stopping by town, that would be something great you could do. But that's unfortunately all the time we have for this week. So I want to thank you, Gabrielle, for chatting with us. And I want to thank Chandler for taking time to come and say hi. Yes, thank you for having us again. project is sponsored by the Pet Pad. For total pet care, think Pet Pad.